toy button. All right. So this is a Wonder Woman Zoom training um, off of Alicia's um, uh, Rockstar Success Program. Um, and Alicia is my power coach, um, I guess is her title. But um, like I said, I'm not like 1,000% invested, but I do pick and choose what I like. And this is one of the things I like. So... Um, order of importance, top three for your life. This is just to keep your own life like 100%, you know, or balanced, I guess. And the very first one is you. Um, you have, I'm just going to pretty much read verbatim out of her, her notes here, is you got to put yourself first. You got to take care of yourself. You got to do what lights you up. And you got to start doing it today, like right now. Um, you are to your household and your life as your heart is to your body. And without it, life as you know it doesn't exist in this physical world anymore. Okay, we all know that when we, especially if, if you're, oh, Suki Cat's making a debut. Um, if you are the center of your house, if you... Um, are the caretaker and um, in you know whatever relationship whether it's you're married whether you have kids whatever it is um, when you're off nobody's happy right like what's what's that motto when when mom is happy then everybody's happy but if she's not then you know watch out um, so and that's really important but as women we are so quick to put ourselves on the back burner and try and take care of everything else. But we know that if we're happy, then everybody else, then things start to go smoothly. So why we put ourselves back and make things more difficult, I, I don't know. And I can't even give you the explanation because I know damn well that I do it myself. Um, but here we go. There's, there's our reminder. So if you don't take care of yourself then everything else is for nothing. So, um, two main things that you need to do for you. Number one, set up an hour of power for yourself every day. Um, she learned this from um, Anthony Robbins, and then you know she added her own little tweaks to it. But during this hour of power, or hop is her initial for that, is... Um, you have three things that you're going to recharge your battery. Read a self-help book for 15 minutes. Journal your thoughts for 15 minutes. And exercise for 30. So that is just for you, you know, every day. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I love to read. Not everybody loves to read, and that's okay. Um, I love to read. I love to read self-help books. Um, I love to read Christian-based self-help books. They they invigorate me in a whole bunch of different things. And and most of my books are business-based. So it recharges me spiritually. It recharges me, you know, and and gives me ideas business-wise. And um, it's just empowering to me. Fifteen minutes is doable for those that don't like to read. Um, and 15 minutes is doable for those of us like me who will overread and spend too much time there and forget about the rest of our power hour, right? Because I can get into a book and be like, oh, you know, an hour went by and what the hell happened? Um, so, I mean, quite literally, if you got yourself a timer or set yourself a timer on your phone and mark out the periods um, for this power hour. So do 15 minutes of reading and then do 15 minutes of journaling. And if Jennifer, if you don't have a journal, let me know and I will um, send one up to you. I'm more than happy to send everyone. I know I gave Alex one. I know Steph has one. Um, I've got like 50,000 of them. I've got a journal for everything. It's ridiculous. Ah, Suki, you're going to get smashed in the head with my foot, man. Um, but if you don't have one, let me know, and I'll, I'll be more than happy to send one up to you. Um, and it doesn't have to be, like, some, you know, 
you're going to blow the, the top off of the universe and come up with like the, the, I don't know, the solution to the be all. It's just 15 minutes of writing down whatever comes to your head and whatever ideas come into your head, maybe whatever that reading, just, you know, how that made you feel. Well, you know, whatever. Um, Maybe it's your grocery list that popped in your head at the moment. It doesn't matter. But you just write it down. And when you get into that um, habit of, you know, just putting putting words to paper, and again, for 15 minutes, that way you're not struggling over what the hell am I going to write for 15 minutes. Um, and nobody else is going to read this, so who cares? Um but then you also don't get carried away like I can do and spend more than 15 minutes doing it. You know, you just, you discipline yourself. This is all about training yourself to be disciplined in doing, you know, these little things for yourself. And then 30 minutes of exercise. I need to get back on that myself. Um, I've been sick and I've let that excuse go too far. And it doesn't have to be, you know, whatever is in your realm of, capability and we build on that so if it's you know going for a walk for 30 minutes or if it's you know going for a jog or riding a bike or whatever it is maybe it's going in and doing Zumba for half an hour um Alex we need to go back and do Zumba <laughs> but um whatever it is just try and work that in for you um, I'm going to start walking again, um, and then working my way back up to jogging, um, so I can work back my way back on to the, uh, the track I was doing for the 5k, but right now my back is a hot mess, and so I'm going to, um, just kind of take it easy and, and work my way back in there. Swimming, yes, um, Stephanie, I, we, I miss swimming too. We're going to get plenty of that this weekend, though, so... I'm feeling on Monday morning I'm going to be really sore again. Um, I was really sore this Monday from playing drunk volleyball. But, um, okay. <laughs> so, number two. Let's go into that. Um, number two was um, setting up me days every week for three to four hours. This is a non-negotiable this is a non-negotiable if you want to live your life on your terms um so this is investing into you right so your me day rules here we go because she's got rules for everything sometimes i don't agree but these ones i do um so your me day rules you cannot do anything for the household your me day does not include chores, no errand runnings, no grocery shopping, no gym, none of that crap. None of it. That is not me days. That is getting shit done days, and that's not what this is for. Um, and number two, it has to be doing something that you love, something that lights you up, something that you wish you still did, but you just don't have the time to do. Guess what? You just made the time to do it. So that excuse isn't there anymore. Um, so whatever it is, whatever it is that lights you up, whether maybe it's going to go volunteer somewhere. Maybe it's going to the beach. Maybe it's knitting. Maybe it's reading that book for, you know, three or four hours like I can do. Um, whatever it is, it's just not the chores. It's not getting stuff done. It's, it's stuff for you because we are the most important portion of your life. I mean, we love our kids. We love our you know, husbands if you're married, boyfriends, whatever, significant, significant other. We love our sisters. But in the end, it is your life. And you have to know at the end that you lived it to make yourself happy and you were happy at the end. So, where was I saying? So, <laughs> number one is you, and the two things you're gonna do is to set up a power hour every day with 15 minutes of reading, 15 minutes of journaling, 
30 minutes of exercise. Doesn't have to be consecutively, um, but it would probably be easier to do it that way. Um, that way you could set that routine up for you, setting that one hour uh, aside. And then a me, a me day, just three or four hours for yourself. Doesn't have to be a whole day. Um, with no chores, no errands, no shopping, no gym, none, none of that. Just something, doing something that you love. That's part one. Um, part two um, is your partner. That one I'm missing. <laughs> so um, to run this through, that's, that's the number two part of your order of importance in your life. When you get married or you have that significant person in your life, they're there for a reason. And when you're doing your business and you're doing all that stuff, that's taking time away from them. So we have to remember to include them in your life, right? Um, otherwise, they start getting resentful or, um, <laughs> or getting ugly or don't, you know, hopefully you have a very supportive person. I think both of you do. Um, as single folks are just like, ah, whatever, I got this. <laughs> But um, hopefully one of these days I'll have somebody there again, but I'm just not in the, uh, the rush to get there. However, let me run through it for you. Your relationship with your partner is like the blood that runs through your body. With no blood, your physical life, as you know, is, is um, non-existent in this world. Same goes for your relationship with your partner. It could survive without having full attention all the time, but it'll need a transfusion of energy to stay alive. So how do you do this? Do a date night every week. Um, it doesn't have to be a whole day, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, we don't have to be unrealistic with it. It doesn't have to be like, okay, you know, all of Saturday, we're just going to be like all lovey-dovey and we're going to act like we don't have chores to do and we don't have grass to cut and we don't have shit that needs to be done, right? We all know that we can say that, but then that falls away again because, you know, we all have stuff to do. So pick a date night once a week, whatever day is convenient. Maybe it's on a Wednesday night to just go to the movies, or maybe it's on a Thursday to go bowling or Monday to go bowling or whatever. Pick something and just make it about you, um, the, the two of you. And then this other one I think is super cute is um, nightly cuddle communication time for at least an hour. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that, if I could cuddle for an hour. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I think it's funny. As the single chick here, I think it's hilarious. Um, but I think it's cute. So if you could do nightly cuddle communication time, <laughs> that, that would probably be good for you. Um, okay, and so her notes here, I'll just go through quickly, is it does not matter what you do for date night. However, it must be outside of the house. So no Netflix and chill. That doesn't count. Um, and I have given you some fabulous, or she says fab sauce. That's just like annoying to me. Um, date night ideas. And so I do, I'll, I can post them for you too. Um, so there's, she's got like date night ideas and um, family date night ideas and me day ideas. So I'll take a picture of that and send it to y'all. Oh, what did I do? I hit something on my screen. There we go. Um, oh, let me go back to the right page. But um, so that she's got ideas there um, to make life a little easier. So you don't have to scramble your brain trying to you know think of like, super cutie things to do. Um, there's like a bunch of little stuff there. And uh, she says these two things will light a spark in your marriage like never before. Good luck with that, girls. <laughs> um, this is also a non-negotiable. <clears throat> you have to make the time for this in your life. Nothing and no one is more important to you and your marriage than your partner. So give him the respect of, of giving you that, you know, giving that undivided attention and time to him. Um, number three, I keep touching things on my computer. What is going on here? All right. Um, number three <clears throat> is um, your kids. So, not well, not everybody have kids. I know, Jennifer, you don't have kids, but you got your pets, right? So, 
those are your babies. <laughs> um, so just just like the uh, the significant other doesn't apply to me, this might not apply to you. But we pick and choose out of all this and um, use what works for you. So number three, kids, order of importance. Family night, extracurricular activities, bedtime reading, etc. All of that stuff goes here. Um, your kids will love having dedicated time for them. But not only that, it does a few other things. One, it sets boundaries and teaches them that not every second of every day is about them. And that is so true. And I, I think that's something that I've um, just naturally already done with my kids because, you know, I'm busy and I can't be in your, I can't have you up my ass like 24-7. It's just, my life doesn't work that way. Um, so it sets boundaries for them. Number two, it gives them structure. You have to go to bed on time because mom, it's mom and daddy time now. So if you're doing your date night and your, your nightly cuddle time, <laughs> then you don't want you know, the babies all up in your mess, whatever. Um, and uh, three, it teaches them the importance of their own marriage when they grow up and have their own family. And um, this important, you know, this time is important it's important to you as a couple um but it's important um to have the time with the kids too and like the same is what i was saying earlier you know your business takes time away from them so if you dedicate time to them and make it um and make it a non-negotiable and you force that time in there then um they see how important your business is. But they also remember how important they are. And that's, that's a big thing. It's a big deal. Now, she I goes in here. <laughs> Say what? He needs a haircut. He doesn't want to cut his hair. It's driving me nuts. I can't see you in the back screen. Yeah, she, she was because she has the light off. It's okay. Um, okay, so number four, remember I said area of importance, there was only top three, right? Well, number four is your business. Um, so just remember the priorities. You know, God and religion is, is automatically number one. Um, but for the other, you know, top three, there was you, your significant other, your partner, and your kids. Number four is your business. Um, your business comes forth. This is where all your parties, your office hours, recruiting interviews, leadership responsibilities, that's where all that goes. And before you go freaking out, I'll break down your business top threes right here um, in just a few minutes. But uh, la, 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 be sure to check that out. And then number five is just everything else. Everything else is last. You know, all of that. BS, we get all like torn up and wrapped around and, you know, oh my gosh, you know, this volunteer at blah, 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 blah. You know, if I don't get there, you know, it's just, it's all going to fall apart and blah, blah. That's such crap we tell each other uh, or, or we tell ourselves. Um, so you're volunteering your appointments, you know, your random grocery shopping, whatever. That is just not... It's not as important as we want it to feel like. Like some of that stuff needs to get done, but the world's not going to end, and neither is your life. Good night, baby. I love you. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy played a trick on him this morning. She didn't show up for two days. Anyways. <laughs> Sorry. Nala's right here, by the way. Oh, yeah. She's like crazy. Hi, honey. Um, so, yeah. The first day the tooth was stuck between two pillows. And, and it wasn't um, it wasn't found. And the second day, um, the tooth was missing. Well, he thought it wasn't. But um, the tooth was missing out of the napkin, and she hid the money in his backpack. So all is saved. <laughs> um, okay, so where was I saying? Um, blah, 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 blah. 
All right, so everything else is number five, right? And then she puts a note here. Um, do you, if you find there's no time left in your calendar, then it's, <laughs> this is important. If there's no more time left in your calendar after all of that, then it's time to bow out of some of those things that, um, some of those things or find a way to make room by delegating tasks to other people. Delegating is such, such an important thing. And to try and figure out, and I know me and Alex and, and me and Steph have done this exercise before of figuring out what's important, what's a want, what's a need, what's a glass ball moment or, or a non-negotiable, and what is just, you know, foo-foo in your life. And, you know, it can be done or can be pushed aside um, or delayed for a little bit. Um, but, uh I don't know. All of that stuff you just have to kind of figure out and um, and then make room um, in your calendar. And then uh, she has another note. <laughs> it says when you're first learning the um, the top three, it can be challenging and it might feel overwhelming right now. But trust me, once you rock it out and you will see your life and your business soar, and there will be no more running around. Like a chicken with your head cut off. It is difficult. It is difficult to train yourself to have the discipline to follow through on all this. And that's the same in any challenge that we have. Um, that's the same as when you just started your business and, you know, forcing yourself. If the time, I think we have less than 10 minutes, like eight minutes. So if it dies, then just breathe, buzz back in. Um, but it's all about building consistency. I see my knucklehead daughter over there. Um, <laughs> and um, just trying to force yourself at the beginning to, to go through the motions, to block those times off for yourself and your, your family and your business and try and stick to it. Give it a good, good try. And after time, it stops feeling like a struggle and it starts falling into place and it's a good thing. It is all good things. I promise you, I would not steer you wrong and I would not waste your time. Um, all right. So just as quick, we're oh, well, hopefully quicker. We'll go through um, the top three um, order of importance for your business. Alrighty. Although your business is number four on your personal list, there is still an order of importance which you need to run your business by um, to have the most success. This is all stuff that I'm learning for myself as well. Um, all of this stuff that I that I am bringing to you and I teach to y'all is not, it's, it's, it's all stuff that I'm going through myself and forcing myself to do. I would never tell you to do stuff that I wasn't willing to do my on my own. Um, so, let's do this. Uh, which increase, okay. It starts with setting up your business calendar. If you don't have a business calendar, I highly, highly, highly suggest it. Um, I am old school. I live by a planner. Um, I, uh, it's not even a phone planner. I can't even deal with the digital stuff. It, I just, I'm not ready to go there. I'm old. Um, but my planner I live by, and it's cute and it's fun, and I can play around with it, and so it satisfies a couple of different blocks. Did you steal my leggings? I found them in my room. They're in my laundry basket. Oh, you little roo thief, you! Okay, you're interrupting me. Goodbye. No, it's not. Goodbye. It's not you voice. thief! You're a thiever. Not a thief. Okay. She learned it from watching you. She really did. Oh, girl, we had this whole conversation at dinner with my mom the other day. I was going to say, don't even <laughs> forget about her conversation. <laughs> okay, so I might possibly have this issue with thieving from um, restaurants. With it's not a might. It's a totally, totally is. Wait, what did she say? So I, I kind of have this thing with, like, you know, the little side dish glasses or, like, oh. the little, 
I always take those. I can't help myself. Like, I always, always take them. So I have, like, a whole collection of little side dish glass bowls or, like, the little creme brulee bowls or whatever. I, you know, they go in the to-go thing, like, push, and I'm gone. Okay. <laughs> so Jennifer's losing it over there. <laughs> um. It started out with, I used to take classes. I have a whole collection from all around the world of, like, pint beer glasses that I got from, like, every restaurant. Yeah, I'm, I'm overseas, and I'm, like, in the middle of war, and I will stop somewhere and steal a glass. Like, I just, I can't help myself. Um, but I do have really cool glasses from, like, Hard Rock Budapest. Like, mm, I have <laughs> So you didn't have to pay the tourist prices either. I didn't. I didn't pay anything. It's great. Um, so anyways, besides the point. Um, so my daughter has picked this up from me. And um, so she... She's going to learn the stealth. Yes. <laughs> so she's not as stealthy as I am, though. Like, she has no shame. She's and only 13. Huh? She says she's only 13. Oh. Yeah, she's not stealthy about it, and, you know, that's my own fault because I, she's just seen me do it so often. She, I think she just thinks it's normal to just take that stuff. And so she's like, hey, whatever, and she just takes whatever she wants from the, the thing. So I'm but not... they've there. learned it from me and Sharon's mother, oh, who yeah. trying to deny this the other night. <laughs> that's, that's the thing. We were at dinner, and Alyssa took the bowl that her her side came in or whatever. She's like, Oh, I got another one. I'm like, yeah, I already got one too. Like we got two more for the collection. And my mom was like, Oh, oh my God. I can't believe you guys are doing that. Uh, la, la, la. I'm like, I learned it from you. Like you steal everything. And she, in my total mom thing, like she just forgets anything that she did when we were growing up. Like that just never existed. Um, when we never learned those skills from anybody. Yeah, right. She mm -hmm. is the queen of stealing bowls and cups and silverware and sugar mm -hmm. and honey. Yeah, you know, we never bought sweet and low. That came from every restaurant we've ever been at. Um, butter and um, creamer, you name it. Oh, it, it came home. And Say again? She had to be in on the thermal business. She had to get a little thermal in her purse. Yeah. <laughs> so, they all go in the to-go box. They go in the to-go box. They all go in the styrofoam to-go boxes. Um, except for the sugar and stuff. That used to go into her purse. Um, so, But she she was just like, I've never done that. I don't know what you're talking about. And my dad's just like being stoic, silent, like, I'm not getting in this, but you're a damn liar. And um, <laughs> so we all had to, to re-remind her that we were trained by her, who I yeah, have been to, in turn trained my daughter. And eventually she'll learn how to do this, you know, without being right in front of the waitress. Like, can I? Alyssa will ask the lady for more butter to take home. And I'm like, <laughs> but okay. So I've got a minute left on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and end this, and that way that will record. And so we'll just have two separate um, things. So I'll end this, and then I can that way it'll save, and I will come right back in to start um, the top three for your business. And we'll run through that really quick. Um, I start rambling, and y'all have to, like, pull me back in because I'll, I'll talk all day. Um, so I'll be right back. Let me end this, and we'll jump right back in. Let me see.